Ladies and gentlemen, Greg and Mir talking track and field here. I just caught this race. I'm just gonna make a quick comment on it, you know, not too long. But this young man here from uh, Botswana, I believe, to, to uh, Tobogo. This young man, I think he ran also on the World Championship you know, uh games, uh, World Championships just in Oregon. I think he made it to the semifinals with a 10-1-5 or something like that. But at this race here in the, in the world, under 20 World Championships, 2022, look at this picture. This is near the end, but he started this to me, look like from about 20 meters out, 30 meters out. Turned, looked around, and wag his finger at the rest of the athlete. And uh, a little bit of overconfidence, but I don't recommend anyone try this. Run through the line or, you know, focus down the track. You see yourself winning two, two meters or one meter from the tape. You can raise your hand, beat your chest like you see in bolt. But this is not a good practice. I don't like this. You know, people might admire this. I mean, Bolt started beating his chest uh, back in when he ran that world record. But you need to focus, because if he had tripped up and fell and rolled, uh, you know, and everybody has run past him, I mean, at this point, if he had fell, he probably would have still won, to be honest with you. But just think, if he had just focused down the track, kept on running, he would have run a 9.8, 5 or 9.8, 7. Who knows? Maybe nine, nine, maybe nine, seven, nine. This is the under twenty, and he's running like this. I would like to see him run at a Diamond League meet later on against the big boys. You know, or he holds up against a Cur Curly or Marvin Gracie or uh, Bromel. I would like to see him in a two hundred too, because if he's running like this, twenty meters out from the tape and turn around and never look back, never look forward and still run 9.91. That's what his coaches need. They need to sit him down and talk to him. His coaches need to sit him down and talk to him to never do that again. Go through the line, do all the celebrating you want to do. Rip your shirt off like Noah Lyles or, you know, Warhol when he broke the world record. But this, if he keeps this up, he's not going to, you know, he might think he's going to win some favor. Some people like that kind of crap. I don't. But um, I want to see you run your race through and show a little respect to your, your, your competitors. Because one day you might be behind somebody's spikes looking at them, you know, run you into the ground, you know. But anyway, I didn't like that, to be honest with you. But I mean, congrats to the young man. I mean, that's a hell of a performance doing that. Day. You know what I'm saying? I hope he gets better and, and have a long career, but they need to get him a little bit more mature and focused to run his race through. But anyway, that was it. I'm going to be following the results a little bit. I'm going to have a, a, the video at the end of this. You know, in, in, you can check the clip out near the, near the end of the video to see this race again. Tell me what you think. You know, you think I'm being too hard on the young man? I don't think so though, but hey, you know. But he, he missed an opportunity to run even faster. But we'll see what happens with the future of this young man. A Jamaican, congrats to my homeboy from Jamaica getting second. And um, he's probably going to improve. I think that's a, a personal best for him too. But hey, we got the Commonwealth Games going on also. So we'll be trying to follow that too. So anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to put that out there.